Hello guys, today I'll be walking you through the process of making broken glass. It's a really simple technique that shouldn't take us more than 5 minutes to do. So this week I worked on a project where I recreated the main menu of a popular video game. And while I was developing that scene, I used the exact same technique I will show you today. So before I record this video, I made sure to make this really simple scene where we have a window in here and just a nice backdrop uh, for us to work with so we can only focus on the on the glass itself. So what you want to do first is to create a new plane like this, go into edit mode and you don't have to do this, but I like putting my origin into one of the corners because then it makes uh, scaling and resizing things a lot more easier. So I'll make that origin go to the bottom right corner and then I exit the edit mode and I'm gonna rotate this plane to just sit upwards like this. I'm gonna apply the rotation and scale because we've rotated this a little bit and now I'm gonna go back to my scene and I'm only going to make um, those two visible, right? So what I want to do now is place this, uh, what's going to be, you know, the, the window, the glass into this uh, window frame. So for that, I'm going, I'm going to go on the top view and go into the wireframe mode. And now I'm just going to place this guy inside the frame and just make sure it sits in the middle like that. Now I can go into the front view and just align this. So as I said, I've got the origin point down here. So I'm just going to align that. Uh, you don't have to align this perfectly. Just make sure it sits nicely into the frame. And then I'm just going to resize everything to make it fit the frame just like this. And then I'm going to apply the rotation and scale once again, because we've um, moved and scaled this around. What I want to do now is go into edit mode and you know subdivide this a few times because we are going to use cell fracture and it needs a little bit of topology in order to break this down uh, nicely so select everything press w and choose subdivide and do this a, a few times right um that's fine by me i exit the edit mode and i'm just going to press space and search for cell and you've got cell fracture popping up over here. If you don't see that popping up, you need to go to edit preference and search for cell fracture, enable it. Uh, you can save the preferences so you don't have to enable it again in the future. And after that, just select the, the window, the, uh, the glass, press space, search for cell fracture, and this window is going to pop up. There's a few things you need to change here uh, based on what you want. And there's like two things you need. Basically, you need to change the source limit, which you see is set to 85. Source limit is basically the number of uh, broken pieces uh, or actually pieces that this window is going to get broken up into. And then you've got this number, this value over here, which is which is called margin. By default, it is set to something like 0.0001. It basically uh, it's the distance between the chunks. Uh, so just we, we don't want any distance between the chunks. We want everything to be nice and compact. So just use a value of zero. Once you did that, you can just press OK and you can see the window gets broken up into a bunch of uh, chunks and you're left with the chunks and with the original plane we've used. I'm going to hide the original plane and all we have are those broken pieces. What you want to do now is press C, which gives you this selection tool. You can increase or decrease the radius by moving the mouse wheel on the, on the mouse. And, you know, just select a bunch of things and you can just delete them by pressing X. And this way we are creating our broken glass. Let's say this is our final broken uh, window, right? If I go into the material view, um, this is what we have. And now we need to create a really quick material for the, for, the for the glass itself. I'm going to go to the materials and create a glass window material, right? So I'm going to go into the material preview. And what you want to do 
is select everything make sure you select this one and then press double a to select everything go control l and do a link material so now all those pieces have the same material what you want to do is put the roughness down a lot almost to like zero and then turn the transmission up to one and this will give you a glass effect so if i were to unhide everything and go into the render view you'd see that i have glass you can see through now we can make this look a little bit more interesting by increasing the roughness ever so slightly so the reflections are not you know perfect like that it's a little bit better i'm gonna go with 0 0.03 and you can also modify the IOR which is the index of refraction of this material so modifying this will pretty much skew um, the light that comes through it so as you can see right now if you look through the to the glass you can pretty much see this guy uh, chilling behind it but if I were to, you know, increase this number to like, let's say four, the whole window kind of becomes more opaque in a way, so to say. So you can play with this number and, you know, customize it to look the way you want it to look. A value of one is like seeing through, through it perfectly. So you don't really get reflections, but I would go with a three, maybe to get some more reflections. And another thing you can do is play with the color, uh, with the base color of the material. So you can, you know, go make it darker. You can do pretty much anything you want. But just make sure that if you darken the, the base color, you will also uh, affect the, the light that, that comes through, through, the, through the glass. So you don't really get to see what's behind it anymore now. So I'm going to light up the color a little bit just so we get to see what's behind it i like this as you can see we can see through the glass and the reflections are nice and we've got broken glass okay so this is the tutorial for today it gives you a really simple but really efficient technique of making broken glass which can come in handy for a multitude of scenes